We will now start our discussion with a short presentation of the reports that have been sent by the signatories about their work during the past months in the 10 points of the Venice Declaration. Due to the pandemic and its consequences, it was decided to move the deadline from March to September, which has had an unexpected consequence in that all the signatories were able to include some of the measures taken in favor of families during the COVID-19 lockdown and beyond with very significant lessons for all, just as we have heard from uh, Mr. Roberto Chambetti. The next presentation will be made by Jose Eduardo Stroropoli, Chief Data Scientist at UNEVOVE, and who is also the academic coordinator of the project. Jose Eduardo, you have the floor. Okay, thank you all. Can you see me and hear me? Okay. Yes. Thank you for the kind words, Mrs. Urea. Uh, thank you also for Mr. Mr. Sembete and also for Mr. Olivier Yao for the kind words in Portuguese. <laughs> so, uh, good morning or good afternoon to all, where, wherever you are. As the academic coordinator of, for the research of the of, of this this project, uh, I am tasked with uh, reporting to you the preliminary result of the analysis on the implementation of the ten points of the Venice Declaration by uh, by the city, region, and territories that adhere to its entire content. All the city centers, uh, their uh, re reports have something to teach about incorporating concerns about families into the urban policy agenda. I have uh, some examples. Uh, this is a preliminary uh, result. Uh, the full report will be published uh, until the end of the year, because as explained uh, earlier, we had do, do it to the uh, COVID pandemic, some delays in the deadline for the data to come in from, from the cities and, and, and regions and territories. But Veneto region alongside with Paraná state, uh, they, uh, uh, we were quite impressed with the vulnerable family actions that, that they are undertaking there. Marcel with the new technologies, Ron Bush. Uh, with the health uh, initiatives, uh, São Paulo City with the education uh, dimension, and Carincha uh, region with the housing dimension. Uh, such co uh, concerns will undoubtedly be the starting point for new initiatives in the coming year, which should also work according to the imperative of intersectionality to achieve more effective uh, results. They can and should still inspire managers from other cities, regions, uh, contributing also to expand the list of additions to the Venice Declaration and its 10 points. Um, this is the main reason for Uninova to contribute as an academic partner of this project. We are a private not-for-profit institution with more than 200,000 students, uh, higher education, a university. And also we, uh, we support uh, social impact actions in the research field. We do have 23 graduate programs now, uh, both of all of them with masters and PhD programs. And all the candidates, students that are enrolled in, in those programs, they have 100% full free scholarships. And the, which the only counterpart is conducting research with social relevance and impact. And I thank you all. Uh, this, this was uh, the preliminary uh, results and also some clarifying of the report and of Uninove and also about myself. Thank you. Um, thank you very much, Mr. Jose, for this overview. And uh, now we would like to highlight one of them and namely that's the region of Carinthia in Austria. This has been a good example of how the Venice Declaration can shape the life of families for the better. And here to explain it is none other than Dr. Viate Pretna. 
who is the deputy governor of Carintia and also the vice president of the European Local Inclusion and Social Action Network. Dr. Kuregna, you have the floor. Yes, hello, can you hear me? Yes. And you can see me, okay, hello. Uh, I, in Austria now it's uh, a half past three <laughs> in the afternoon. Uh, dear ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to be able to speak today on behalf of the region of Corinthia and would also like to pass on greetings from the Corinthian governor, Peter Kaiser, who unfortunately cannot attend the online conference today. Carinthia did not think twice when it was given the opportunity to sign the Venice Declaration, because one thing is uh, immediately clear, one of the most essential factors for societies to function is, among other factors, always cohesion with the family or families. This is why it is so important that families have a special social and political value. And this is exactly where the Venice Declaration comes into play, especially against the background of the current pandemic. The focus is on what it is otherwise often forgotten. Our social life cannot be taken for granted. This virus clearly shows us that just now, as many households are facing financial problems, unemployment and an uncertain future, we have to strengthen not only each individual, but especially families. We in Carinthia have therefore reacted quickly and put together social support packages. We have doubled the financial resources in the area of support in special circumstances this is a financial aid that can be granted after a short examination to bridge financial straits. In the area of housing assistance, we have expanded the list of possible beneficiaries as we have identified that there is also a need here. In general, digitalization processes have been fast-tracked. Now, for example, application requests can be made online. In addition for the elderly, as an alternative, the range of services offered by telephone was extended and application requests made possible by telephone. Necessary proofs could be sent by post or deposited directly in the letterbox of the respective authority. More than ever before, the following is currently true. We must put what unites before what divides. Otherwise, we will not only contribute to a divided society, but run the risk of losing confidence in vital crisis management, and this must not happen. Especially in times of crisis, we need people who can face these emotional challenges in a calm and an objective manner, and we need solidarity and a united Europe. The basic ideas of the Venice Declaration carry this message. Let us focus on this common denominator when it comes to mastering daily challenges. Even beyond the current COVID topic, we have put in place various projects that support families in social life. And I would like to mention just a few examples here. For example, uh, housing. We offer a variety of housing options for families and risk or in difficult situations like SOS Children's Village, for families in crisis or a care facility where mother and child are living together. The aim of these offers is to support families in crisis for a certain period of time in order to stabilize the situation and prevent further deterioration of their individual situations. Another offer is the youth emergency shelters. Uh, young people who are suddenly confronted with homelessness 
or who can no longer live in their parents' house can find a place here for up to 90 days without any bureaucratic hurdles. During this time, further options are being examined in order to ensure long-term care if this becomes necessary. No one is simply sent away. Another example is the health care. As an increase in violence within families was accepted, our initiative against domestic violence was expanded even further. Here we address the entire Corinthian population in order to inform and raise awareness of violence within the family. The project lasts for one year and in addition to raising awareness aims at early recognition of domestic violence and reporting to the authorities. The parents' self-perception is also trained and accompanied by a reflection on educational methods. Another example is our project Early Assistance. We have expanded the range of early assistance where we offer family support even before birth, during pregnancy and beyond. The offer is primarily aimed at pregnant women who become mothers very early or very late in life, who feel insecure about their situation, need psychological help and support, have relationship conflicts or have experienced violence. The aim is to counter stress factors as early as possible and to strengthen and support the, the parents in their new role in order to enable both parents and children to have the best possible experience in family life. Another example is the health consulting by phone. We have set up a hotline that you can call 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, if you are worried about your health. You can call the number 1450 and get help quickly and easily. Trained staff take care of you and call a doctor or activate the rescue chain if it's necessary. This reduces the workload of ambulances and other emergency services and reduces unnecessary trips to the hospital. All these examples from my areas of responsibility only show a small portion of all the actions taken. In Carinthia, we work all year round in all areas of activity to make our region worth living in for the Corinthian people. We aim at maintaining our high standards in quality of life and continue to develop them further. No matter whether this is about the health and social sector, education, youth or senior citizens. In doing so, we always proceed with caution and try to achieve long-term advantages and results. Thank you very much for your attention and the opportunity to speak here. All the best from Corinthia.